He starts with a very well insulated garbage can in which he melts aluminum. We're going to try to do the full crucible. Oh. The cast will sacrifice the lives of the ants, but it will also provide useful research on their mysterious underground colonies. I don't do it lightly, actually. No, no. When the temperature gets to be about 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, this looks pretty good. The aluminum melts and it's ready to pour. We have it. Ready? Don't try this on your own. Wow. And so that's just going deep into the earth. Yeah. Several is, feet down. It's, it's really very good so far. After only a few minutes, the metal hardens, and it's time to dig it out. I think this is going to be good. Wow. Yep, there it is. With a lot of hard digging, the little chambers and tunnels of the colony are unearthed. You can see that where there's a lot of traffic that is near the surface, yeah. the, the shaft is actually a, a ribbon, a wide tunnel, like a superhighway. Oh, yeah. The more traffic it has, the wider it is. And down below are the storage rooms. They store seeds, in fact, you know, the, this, there, there's some seeds. Mm -hmm. After about seven hours, it's finally time to lift out the casting. Wow. Isn't that something? Like a chandelier. Okay. In fact, today's cast is a winner. Now, this is the best metal cast I've ever made. Certainly the biggest by far. Who knew that tiny ants could be such natural designers or that the study of ants would reveal such beauty? There's actually more art in science than most people suspect. The casts also reveal just how very different ant species are from one another. Can I hold it? Yeah, sure. You could use this in a barroom fight. Oh, wow. That's it's it's so... our, our biggest ant. You can see some of Walter Chingle's castings in museums around the country. Or better yet, find real ant colonies all around you. Just look down at your feet.